how dare you? Any problem, Mom? Yes! You have a problem. I don't understand. Why did you stop the meetings from coming to learn from me? Oh, that. It's nothing, Mom. Is this all you can say? Oh, that. It's nothing, Mom. Really? You make it sound as if I've done something wrong. Well, Amma, you've done everything wrong. I don't get it. Who sent you? I sent myself, Mom. For crying out loud, Mom, you deserve the best. You should be thinking of running the affair of the steel company and not subjecting yourself to a music and a dance teacher. If you are the one teaching those maidens how to dance, who then are they going to dance for? What exactly is your problem? Besides, who told you they are learning to perform for anybody? Okay, fine. Let's assume that is the purpose. What business of yours is it? You know, it hurts me so much to know that you don't know yourself. And I have decided to take it upon myself to make you understand yourself and know yourself better. Olama, why have you refused to work on yourself? Is it so difficult? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I don't have a problem, Mom. You keep between yourself and I don't like it. I need all that to stop. Shut up. Did you hear that? Shut up. You're beginning to get on my nerves. You're biting more than you can chew. Don't push me. For once, Mom, can you just support me? Support me and stop making me look stupid fighting for your right. Ah, <sighs> Olamma. You're just a disappointment. Call it anything, but I know what I'm doing. Watch me deliver victory to you, Mom. So, can you tell us what you're just about? Yes, you promised to do that the last time we talked about her. Ada, why does it look like you're hiding something from us? I guess I'm in a kind of upset right now. Ada, you are not in any kind of upset. Unless you want to be. So, please, can you talk to us? Uchindu is no more with us in this palace. What do you mean she's no more with us? She got pregnant and left the palace to take care of herself. What? Yes. But please, let it be between us. Please. I don't want any member of the royal family to hear about this. Please. Okay. Did she tell you who got her pregnant? Yes. Who? When next you see her, you can ask her about it. What's so difficult in telling us who got one of us pregnant? Because she asked me not to tell any of us. And I made a promise. And it would be stupid for anyone to ask me to reveal it. Okay, no problem. You understand. So, isn't there now aware of this? I don't think so. So where is she now? I just told you, she left the palace to take care of herself. You're hiding a lot from us. And it is not good. I'm not hiding anything from you. I only limited myself within the information she asked me to give out, just in case someone asked about her. Obi, you have not been your usual Jolly, bright, high-spirited self for some days now. What is it? I am disturbed. Clearly you are disturbed, as I can see. Why are you disturbed? Are you having an affair with Miri? That kind of question. Why? Just answer me, please, and tell me the truth, Obim. Please don't lie to me. I have never thought 
that you'll ever ask this kind of question. I have been carrying this in my heart for too long. And I don't want to carry it any longer. That is why I've decided to ask you. Please, my love, tell me the truth. I'm not having an affair with Mary. I want to believe you, my husband, like I have always done. But what if I find out that you are having an affair with that woman? By my own verdict as king, I speak on the sacredness of the ancient staff of kings of our woeful Akanato. That the gods sanction whatever action you take against me. Very well then. Maybe I should tell you this. I have never seen or enjoyed the nakedness of another woman since the day I married you. And I have chosen to keep it that way until death do us part. I believe you, my husband. I am king and I am at liberty to marry as many women as I want, as you know. But I have chosen not to do that because of the love and respect that I have for you. And most importantly, I cherish what we have. I believe you will be. I was just getting jealous and suspicious. Jealous? I love you, Obim. And I do not want to share you with another woman. You have just made my day with your last words, you know that, right? And I hope you make the rest of my days with you worth it. With your trust. So, let's get straight to it. You have something for me? Um, nothing really, Your Majesty. You know, I realize her life revolves uh, around herself and her friends. You know, all this um, women's gossip and all that. Uh, but there is a, a conversation that I would like you to listen to. Oh, okay. Come on. I'm curious. Uh... <laughs> what happened to your line? I'll be trying to call you. But your number wasn't connecting. Oh yeah, I misplaced my phone, but I just got it back. Oh, I thought as much. So, what is the latest? Someone's ass is about to get roasted. Who? That stupid palace secretary. What did she do? I told her to play ball with me, but she refused. So, I am going to punish her. What do you mean she refused to play ball with you? I told her to pad the palace budget so that both of us could enjoy some millions. But she refused. So, what is the nature of her punishment? I just set a small hurdle for her to jump. And that is? I just told Queen Oledo that she is sleeping with the king. What? How could you do that? Do you know what you just did is capable of destroying your brother's home? Well, I don't care. I just want to see her ass punished. I mean, who is she to dare me in this palace? Mama, you're going too far. This is too much. You have to end it now that it has not blown out of proportion. Well, the ball is already in motion. Hmm. <laughs> Thank you. Why did it take you so long to answer me? I was busy inside my princess. That is not an excuse. Don't you ever delay me when next I call you. I'm sorry, my princess. It will never happen again. 
Where is Uchendo? She traveled. You lie. It's the truth, my princess. I still insist you lie. She traveled without telling me? Or did she tell my brother's wife? I don't think so, my princess. She just decided to travel and left. How is it possible? A maid in the palace traveled without taking permission from anyone. She had an emergency. That was why she decided to travel without informing anyone. But she informed you, right? Yes, she did. But that's because I'm her friend. It's okay. It's okay. She informed you before traveling. But she didn't tell me. Well, do well to tell her that she is sacked. Okay? If you see her in person or you call her on phone, tell her that I said she is sacked. My princess, she doesn't have any intentions of coming back to the palace. I don't care. I only noticed her absence in the palace. That was why I called for you. Get out. Thank you, my princess. thought about it and I have made up my mind that I'm going all in with you okay are you saying that you have accepted to be friends with me not just friends but you know marriage that's if you accept yes yes I accept I accept so when are you going to come see my parents Whenever you're free, I'm available to come. Okay, let's see what month ending will look like. I'll be waiting. <laughs> Guess what? One thing about me that you must know is that I am not good at guessing. Today is the happiest day of my life. Why would you say that? Because the man of my dreams is talking to me about marriage. What you said now? Brings me to a question that I have been nothing to ask you. Okay, feel free, ask me anything. Okay. So tell me, what gave you the moral fiber to approach me the way you did? Because it is unlike African women to approach a man they have feelings for. The point is that I admire you a lot. Whenever you come to see the princess and leave, I always dream about you. I even told my fellow maidens that you are my dream man. So what did they say? <laughs> they all laughed at me and said that you can never, ever, ever come down to my level. So you decided to take the bomb by your own? Exactly. And it worked for me. <laughs> well, if you must know, I didn't just decide to go into marriage with you. I asked questions about you and your family. And I got the kind of response that I want to get about the family and the personality of the girl I want to get married to. That is why I decided to marry you. And what kind of questions did you ask about me and my family? Well, that will be a story for another day. And also, I want you to resign from the palace. Why? Because I wouldn't want the woman I want to marry to be working in the palace as a maiden. You know, you need some upgrade. And secondly, we need time to start planning for our wedding. <laughs> Mary, you don't look happy today. What is it? Your Majesty, I want to go. Go where? I I am resigning from my duties as the palace secretary. Why? Your Majesty, our closeness has made people to start suspecting us. It's not people. It's my wife. You know about that? Yes, I do. It's a misconception that emanated from Olamba and her mischievous friend. But as I speak to you right now, the matter has been arrested 
and everything is under control, so it's okay, you can rest easy. Huh? Your Majesty, I felt very embarrassed when the Queen asked me if we were dating. Your Majesty. Yes. You know, it seemed like that can never ever happen between us. I know. And that's why you're not going to resign, okay? Your resignation is not accepted. All right? I want you to relax. You go back to your work. Keep at it. I have also decided to promote you and increase your salary. Going forward, you're going to earn the sum of one million naira every month. Oh my God. Yes. Your Majesty. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It is fine. Thank huh? you. It is fine. Come on, get up. <laughs> Thank you. I, I, I am speechless. <sighs> Ebubi, is that not the princess's car? Yes, that's her car. So, why is he parked in the middle of the room with the doors open? Yeah? not be what I'm suspecting of. What are you suspecting? The scenario looks like the, the, the princess has been adopted. It would be Chuku. Haba has been adopted by who? Ah, can't you see? Look. Look at her footwear on the ground. They noticed it as well. So what do we do? We need to alert the, the royal home. Right. At once. What's going on? This one, you're so excited this hey. afternoon. What's the good news? The mother just paid. What do you mean? I don't understand. The man just gave me half of his salary. What? Yes. And I show me the proof. Here is your last. He asked for my account details last night and he just wired the money. Oh my goodness. Did you? Yeah. Oh my goodness. You mean this guy could be this stupid mm -hmm. to give half of his salary to a lady who hasn't even said yes to him? Stupidity is his second name. And trust me, I will suck him dry. <laughs> Jiu. Juliet, you just have to be careful. I can handle it. There's no cause for alarm. I'll handle it. Okay, or if you say so. Mm. But how do you intend to reconnect with Ikena? Soon. Very soon. You better do that first before he goes for another girl. <laughs> if he tries that, I will kill him. I mean, be serious, Joe. You kill him. Please. <laughs> okay. Help me out. This is the party. That's all. Okay. 
Is there something that you need that you most likely forgot to add to the list that was presented to us? No. Are you sure? Yes, nothing. What about money for your car maintenance? Have you forgotten that the palace mechanic takes care of the car? And you don't tip them sometimes? Ah, <sighs> Bazele. There's practically nothing I do with the one million naira you put in my account every month. And you will still offset every other expenses. So that little tips will not be a problem. If there's anything else you need, please let us know, okay? I will. I'm always here at your service. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. What's, what is it? Your Majesty. What is Please it? What is it? Slow down, slow down. What is it? Your Majesty, the princess may have been kidnapped. What? Why do you say that? We saw her car parked on the roadside with the doors open. Eh? Initially, we thought she went into the bush to ease herself. But when we took a closer look, we saw her foot related on the ground. Where exactly did this happen? My queen, uh, along the pathway that leads to Fadri Fadri Fadri. Bazeli, now come on. Tom, I'm finished. Eh? You can't believe what just happened. What happened? The princess had just been kidnapped. What? How? The information is still sketchy. Then how did she know she has been kidnapped? Ibuban didn't normally report the incident to the king. Then that means it's true. It's true. It's true. But I remember seeing the princess in the palace this morning. She left the palace about an hour ago. You just pretty don't read pie. You just pretty don't read pie. As if you know what is on my mind. There is no way those evil men will not rape her. What about the king? What has he said about it? He's here to make a statement. This is serious. This is, this is serious. This is serious, Juliet. Anime? My sister has been kidnapped. What? Uh, when? We got the message a few minutes ago. From who? Um, some villagers. You know, they came here to bring the news to us. What can we do? What can we do? Uh, uh, for starters, I need you. I need you. Open up your system. Track my sister's phone. I need to know where she is. Find out where she is right now. That's why. So I called you here. Get to work. Have you been able to talk to her since she was kidnapped? I called the number I said switched off. Hey! Um, Your Majesty, I'm afraid we cannot track the line if the phone is switched off. Why? What are you talking about? How does it work? It's easier if you've been able to engage her on a long call. Is that how it works? That's how it works. So there is nothing we can do as it is. How about the kidnappers? Have they reached you yet? No, they have not reached out. So what do we do? And you speak I, to me? Yes, we just wait. We wait. Yes, we will start from that. We wait. We wait. Huh? Hmm? Wait. A three million US dollars. Three million. Ransom. Are they crazy or something? It's outrageous, I know. They have also threatened that failure to pay, that um, my sister will be killed and her body cut into pieces and dumped in the river. 